Specialist Jeff Merrill in Santa Barbara, California aboard the Nordhaven 47 Seabird. Seabird is a 2007 model year. The owners are the original owners. They took possession in 2008 and they've had a lot of fun with this boat. They've crossed the Atlantic, cruised the Med for a couple of years. They've been up to Alaska in Mexico. They've used this boat what it was designed for, for ocean crossing and extensive exploring along the coast. Seabird is a flybridge model. She has the fiberglass stack for the dry stack exhaust. There is a steelhead crane on there, two dinghies back aft. The main engine is a lugger. It's the 1066T uh, with about 6,750 hours on her. There is a lugger wing engine, a Northern Lights generator, air conditioning, again, two cabin layout with the guest stateroom forward and the owner's cabin back aft. I'm standing in the Portuguese bridge. There are so many things to talk about on this boat, but I want to show you on film. So let's go take a look around. Thanks for joining me today. The foredeck on the Nordheim 47 is very high off the water. Primary purpose for this area is for ground tackle. You have two anchor rollers, a very large anchor. They come back to the Maxwell 3500 electric windlass. I'm sitting in the anchor well right here. There are drains and scuppers. This will actually drain any mud that you get down to the water line. There's a Freeman hatch for access to check on your, your road. There are three hatches here above the guest cabin. And then there are two door aid vents. One provides ventilation for the guest cabin, one for the owner's cabin, and two built-in dock boxes. Up five steps from the port side deck, you arrive on the boat deck. The boat deck has a steelhead crane on center line. There are two dinghies, one for cruising around, the other one for going to the shore. From here, you can go up to the flybridge. There's a lot of storage space up here. Most of it is being occupied with the tenders. Once they're launched, you have a great lounge area for relaxing. I really like being up on the flybridge of a Nordhaven 47. There are two chairs here, so you can sit here and be operating the boat, talking with somebody else, even a bench seat back behind if more people want to come up here. From the flybridge, I can see the anchor windlass, the anchor, I can do the anchoring. Actually, from up here, I have a windlass control, I have my main engine control, the nav net, chart plot or radar, GPS, bow thruster, stern thruster, and a very large autopilot. There's storage up underneath. The Venturi gives me a little bit of a wind block. And above me, I have a stainless steel bimini cover that will help keep me out of the rain and out of the sun. This is just a great place to be on the Nordheim 47. To board Seabird, you come in either from the transom or the starboard side deck. There's a gate there. This walking side deck goes all the way from the cockpit up past the pilot house onto the foredeck. The swim platform itself has extra L-shaped rails to make it easier to board. You can come in by dinghy or from the dock. Coming in through the gate back aft, there's a hot, cold cockpit shower. One of the unique features on Seabird is the warping winch. There's a Maxwell 1000. Lazarette storage is right beneath me here. There's a big hatch there, and then I can go into the salon through the Dutch door. From the cockpit, you get into the interior of the boat. This entry level is the salon and galley. When Seabird was ordered, it was selected with built-in set tees on both the port and starboard side that gives you additional storage. There's a fixed teak table here. There's an entertainment system with great sound, a flat screen television. For laundry, you have two ASCO appliances, a washer and a dryer. We are atop the engine room. The dry stack exhaust is coming up through this column. In the galley, beautiful granite countertops, overhead storage lockers, double basin stainless steel sink, an opening port light, microwave convection oven, sub-zero refrigerator with freezer drawers. There's a trash compactor here, additional drawers and lockers storage. And from this level, we go up to the pilot house, just this short flight of stairs. The pilot house on Seabird is situated really in the middle of the boat. So you have the foredeck forward. There's a Portuguese bridge if you need to go outside. There are two opening doors outboard. Both of them are Dutch doors. Stid helm chair for operating the vessel, an overhead hatch if you need to pass anything through up to the flybridge, and then all of your electronics are primarily concentrated on this lower dash area right here. I also have the main engine control, bow thruster, stern thruster, wing engine control, a remote autopilot, compass, VHF radios, of course all of your chart plotter radar screens. Up top there is a safety panel that has the fire suppression for the lazarette and the engine room, a water and fuel alarm high water bilge pump. Then we come to the main engine panel, the wing engine panel, 
water maker, stabilizers, everything you need to get to is right here within easy reach. Destroyer stainless steel wheel. All of the electrical breakers are easily accessed right here. At the end of this island, I have a generator panel and an inverter panel. This is the wet hanging locker, which is a unique feature on a trawler with a storage shelf and bookshelf. And then back aft is the watch berth. So this is a place where someone can be sleeping off watch. It's also very comfortable settee right here for a crew. So if you want to keep the skipper company while they're driving the boat, you can be right here. A wonderful place for breakfast, lunch, snacks. Uh, pilot house is really where it all happens and this is a very well set up pilot house on Seabird. Up forward on the Nordhaven 47 is the guest cabin. It's really a stateroom. There is a double bunk over on the port side. Above that, concealed in this shelf, is a pipe berth. It's a stainless tube with a canvas cot on it so you can sleep somebody up there. Uh, all the way forward is the head and shower. It has a freshwater Tecma toilet and a hinged shower door. Stand up sink, medicine cabinet, overhead hatch. There are two overhead hatches also in the stateroom. Port lights back aft that are in the Portuguese bridge, opening port lights outboard on both sides. Below the flooring, you have access to the windlass breaker, the bow thruster breaker, some tank access. And one of the key features when the Nordhaven 47 first came out was the advent of a desk on board. So on the starboard side, you have this very wide desk, a swing out stool, most people have a printer on board. You can get some work done here, whether you're still at the office offshore or you're just retired and want to catch up with emails. So your guests will find this a very accommodating room. There are some drawers below the bed, hanging lockers outboard, a lot of storage space up here for your personal belongings. And it's a wonderful place for your guests to spend the night. Coming down the stairs from the pilot house, you can come aft into the owner's cabin. We're right beneath the pilot house, so very easy access. There is a large island berth on center line, a line fore and aft, much more comfortable for sleeping that way. Outboard on the port side, you have opening port lights, hanging locker, drawers. There's a laundry bin right here, large hanging locker as well, mirror, more drawers right here. And then there's a opening ventilation hatch, which is one of the later improvements on the Nordon 47. Seabird selected that. It's beautiful teak wood in here, and the head and shower is connected to the owner's cabin. So right across the hall on the starboard side, sink, freshwater Tecma toilet, medicine cabinet with mirrors, stand up shower with a bifold door. The engine room on the Nordheim 47 is spectacular. You have very close to full standing headroom around the engine. So it's easy to service, stainless rail on either side. Uh, this is the lugger. This is the dry stack exhaust, back aft Northern Lights generator with a sound shield, and then the lugger wing engine. The lugger wing engine is an emergency package. It's a get home engine that has its own fuel tank, its own starting battery, its own shaft, its own propeller. The fiberglass fuel tanks are outboard. They have sight glasses so you can keep track of your fuel burn. Up forward is a supply tank. It's an aluminum supply tank. It's a gravity drain fuel system that takes the fuel from the two main tanks to the supply tank. That supply tank will feed the main engine and the generator. Outboard and forward behind the lockers are the active pin stabilizers for easy inspection. And then all the way forward is a fuel manifold with return and transfer. So you can transfer fuel around. You can do different returning fuel management. You can keep the boat very level. This is an engine room that's very easy to get your engine room checks done, easy to move about. And then back aft, you go through the door that gives you access to the lazarette where you can check the steering. So I love this engine room on the Nordhaven 47. It's one of the best engine rooms I've ever been aboard. There are two ways to get into the lazarette. You can drop down from the cockpit hatch or you can enter through the door that connects to the engine room. Lazarette has a lot of electrical and important items in here. There's a fire suppression system, a charger, an inverter. Your steering ram is right here. This is cardboard box has a spare ram in it. Autopilot right here. That is your crane motor back there. Battery, stern thruster, water maker, and the central vacuum system. Forward on the port side are your electrical switches. There's a couple of spare anchors down here. This ends up being the room where you keep a lot of your extra gear. It's a wonderful garage on board Seabird.
thank you for joining me today aboard Seabird. As you've seen, she really has a lot of great equipment on her. She has been actively cruised, which is important if you're gonna buy a boat like this. She's crossed oceans, she's done a coastal exploring. Uh, she really has been a world traveler. There's a lot of details that we can't go into in a video as short like this, but we do have a complete list of specifications and additional photos on our website, jmys.com. If you'd like to get on board and see for yourself, we would welcome that. Uh, you do that by appointment only. You can call, text, or email me at the information on the screen. I thank you for your time today, and I look forward to hearing from you. Hi Trawler fans, thank you for watching the JMYS YouTube video channel. I'm fortunate to be offshore again. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, you can click the button below. We also like to publish other listings and other Trawler Skills videos. You can click on one of those on the side to watch those. Thank you very much for your thumbs up. We love having you watch our videos. We love putting them together for you and hope you come back again soon.